Hi, I'm the Gentleman Cabbie, and in an age where we're permanently plugged into cyberspace, I'm on a mission to bring the art of conversation back to the streets of London. Hi, my name's David. I'm happy to be filmed by the Gentleman Cabby. And if I wasn't already doing what I'm doing, um, uh, perhaps run a, my own bistro, stroke um, uh, bar, yeah. ideally in some beach in Portugal. And what what's um, what inspired you with the kind of getting into food? Do you, do you cook now? I, 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 I have a passion for uh, for cooking and creating yeah. dishes. So what's um, what's your signature dish? Uh, my signature dish is spinach <laughs> lasagna. So uh, I do a creamy spinach lasagna, so yeah. uh, in the cheese sauce I put spinach. If you had to have Nigel Farage round for dinner, <laughs> what would you cook him? Uh, Lancashire hot pot or something right. of that nature. Yeah, we've had, I've had a few roast dinners. If, if you get a chance and you're bored one evening, um, look up on YouTube Pie Cannon. What's that called? Pie cannon. Pie cannon. Right. Yeah, okay. I, I, I was responsible for building a pie cannon. <laughs> right. uh, and there are four films uh, around YouTube on it. Oh, really? Um, yeah. On, on why we did it. Basically, we wrote to a hundred, a hundred French chefs asking them why they didn't serve pies on the menu. Right. Okay. Um, we didn't get any response. Really? Right. Okay. So we built a uh, pie cannon. Yeah. Uh, and we put it into Deal Castle. Yeah. And we fired pies. At the French. <laughs> That's um, kind of Monty Python esque, isn't it? It, really? it is, and we did it with the comedians Armstrong and Miller. Right, okay. They fired the cannon, yeah. and there was a Monty Python type band yep. um, in, in the castle, <laughs> including a rather large cow as well. Um, Don't tell me you fired the cow over No, we didn't fire the cow, the cow was there to sort of bless the day. You could yeah. Like, obviously, it wasn't an act of war or anything, it was, yeah. it was just an act of culinary education. Is pie just completely off the menu in, in French food then, really? Uh, sweet, sweet pie w w wouldn't be, but of yeah. course it's a la the land of croissants and, um, and pan chocolate. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so a, a good steak and kidney pie or, uh, yeah. you know, a steak and Guinness pie really doesn't figure in their repertoire. So if you could go back in, if you could go back in time and um, give yourself any advice, what would you say to you? younger self? Probably, uh, like lots of people, probably say work harder at school and probably um, <laughs> try, try and get a better education, I guess. A few of the people I've had in the back of the cab are now in prison as a result of Operation U Tree. So, oh, wow. and Max Clifford in the back of the cab once, wow. just before he, uh, he, he met his uh, untimely demise. I bumped into Russell Crowe in a bar once. So oh, did you? Yeah. Did stop. you say hello? or? Uh... Well, I didn't know it was Russell Crowe Crow <laughs> right. because because it was at the time the Gladiator film came out. Wow, um, right, okay. And in the film he had very short hair, and in the bar he had very long hair and okay. a great big beard. Yeah. So until somebody told me it was Russell Crowe, I didn't know, and then we started talking about his cattle farm. <laughs> right, okay. And he, he has a cattle farm, well, he did then anyway, yeah. he had a cattle farm, so... Yeah, it's very interesting. And I was I, I was surprised that in the film Gladiator he looked quite tall, I'm a lot taller than him. They, they use all sorts of trickery in, uh, in films to uh, make people look taller. Apparently, they often put Tom Cruise on a box when he's next to uh, when he's next to his female co-stars because he doesn't like looking shorter. So you've not had, a, had any of them in then, yeah? No mega stars. No. No. Um, no one. No one. No one like Madonna. No, I can't imagine Madonna does caps. But I think she. If Madonna was in the back, I think she might be a bit of a tricky customer. I reckon <laughs> she. She would definitely be complaining about the route that I took. I think you'd have to have an entourage as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think a, a wardrobe malfunction. Or yeah, something. I definitely need one of the veto taxis to uh, accommodate <laughs> yeah. Madonna. Great talking to Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take bye care. Bye bye. bye. bye.